area. Hey Virat, I have more chikki than you. No, no, I have more chikki than you. Now stop, don't fight. Saina, why don't you count the number of chikki squares you have? I have 16 squares of chikki. Okay. Now Virat, you count the number of chikki squares that you have. I have 16 squares of chikki too. Now tell me, who has more chikki? Oh, we were fighting over nothing, Tai. We both have the same amount of chikki. That's right. But let me explain it to you properly. The thickness of the square of chikki you both have is the same. So let us measure their surfaces. There are 16 squares of equal measure on both your slabs. Therefore, you both got the same amount of chikki. On any surface, the measure of the place occupied by a figure is the area of that figure. The measure of a figure should be the same no matter who measures it. Hence, a square of side 1 cm is used as the standard unit of measurement of area. The area of a figure is given in square centimeters. To find out the area of this rectangular piece of paper, let us count the number of squares with sides of 1 cm on the paper. There are 10 such squares on the paper. Therefore, the area of the paper is 10 square centimeter. To find out the area of the shape given alongside, let us count the number of squares with sides 1 cm in it. The area of the shape is equal to number of squares which is equal to 9. Therefore, area of the shape is 9 square centimeter. A big rectangular table is 3 meters long and 2 meters wide. The surface of the table is to be laminated and a border tape has to be fitted along its side. For this, we must find how much laminate and what length of border tape is required. The laminate will occupy the top surface of the table. Therefore, to find out how much laminate is needed, we must find the area of the table top. The border tape will be fitted along the sides of the surface. Hence, to find out the length of border tape needed, we find the perimeter of the table top. Here, the size of the table is large. So, to find the area, let us use squares with sides of length 1 meter. A square with side 1 meter has an area of 1 square meter. Let us find the measurement of laminate. Measurement of laminate is equal to area of the table top. The number of squares occupying the table top is 6. Therefore, the quantity of laminate needed is 6 square meters. Now let us find the length of border tape. The length of border tape is equal to perimeter of the surface of the table which is equal to sum of the length of all four sides of the surface. So it is 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 3 which is equal to 10. Therefore the length of border tape needed is 10 meters. Exercise Find the area of the following figures. All small squares are of 1 square centimeter area. First, let us see this identity card. Well, you know that area of the identity card is equal to number of squares occupying the identity card. So, let us count the squares. There are 24 squares. And each square has an area of 1 square centimeter. Therefore, the area of the identity card is 1 into 24 square centimeter, which is equal to 24 square centimeter. Number 2. Here we have 4 squares, and each square has an area of 1 square centimeter, which means the area of the square would be 4 into 1 square centimeter, which is equal to 4 square centimeter. 
Let us see the next figure. It is a rectangle with 8 squares or 1 square centimeter area. It has 8 squares in it. Now area of 1 square is 1 square centimeter. So area of 8 squares would be 8 into 1 square centimeter which is equal to 8 square centimeter. So the area of the rectangle is 8 square centimeter. Let us see the next rectangle. Here, the rectangle has 7 squares in it. Each square has the area of 1 square centimeter. Therefore, the area of the figure or rectangle would be 7 into 1 square centimeter, which is equal to 7 square centimeter. So, the area of the rectangle is 7 square centimeter. Constructing boxes, packaging nets. Anand, look at these cardboard boxes. How do you think they are made? Let us cut one of the boxes and lay it out flat. Then we will know how it is made. But if we cut along different lines, will we get a different kind of box? Let us see. Let us open up this smaller box with a different shape. Try this out. Take a piece of thick rectangular paper. Draw six boxes joint squares as shown in the picture. Cut out the remaining part. Fold the squares along the thick lines to make boxes. Now take a rectangular piece of thick paper. Draw six joined rectangles as shown in the picture. Cut out the remaining paper. Fold the rectangles along the thick lines to make boxes. Collect boxes of different shapes used to store different things. Now open them up and study their structure. Subscribe to my channel. Click on bell icon to get notification about new videos.